Hi everyone, it's Sandy from the Hobby Lady Blogspot.com. Welcome to another short take video. In this video, I am going to show the layer, split, and break features of Make the Cut. Now, I've already placed um, an image on my mat and actually copied it two other times to demonstrate these features. These are um, the Care Bears from a font that I found on the internet. To do these, um, any, either of these three features, there's three ways you can access this. You can go up to Edit, Edit, Shape Magic, and you'll see the Split, Layer, or Break. Or you can use the keyboard function. Split would be Control plus P. Layer is Control plus L. And Break would be Control B. I myself prefer using the icons. So I'm going to use the icons on the Magic Shape toolbar, which I have on the right side of my screen. I'm going to select this first image and I'm going to show you what um, the layer feature actually does. When you select your image, you're going to find the layer button, the fifth button down on your toolbar, and click on it. Then and you'll need to click off of the image so that you can move it. But if you'll notice, the layer feature actually puts uh, two if you'll see here, they're light gray dotted lines, two squares around your image. That's giving you the two layers. So if you move the top image over, you've got a shadow image or a background image, and you've got your pieces image. So that's what layer does. It gives you the two different layers. Now the break, well, excuse me, we'll go to the split feature first. So let's select our object. And now, at this point, we're going to click on the split. But you notice it says there, have, there are no changes, so there's nothing to split. It can't split a, a completed image. So what you're going to have to do first is you're going to have to layer that image and move the background image off. And this section is the section that you will actually split. So once you've got this, and again, if you click off, you see it moves still as one piece because it's a layered piece. So if we click back on it and click on the split, now you can notice that each little element here is its own little element. Okay. Um, now there's a little glitch in here, and I'm going to come back to that, and I'll explain that in just a moment. But that's the difference between the layer and the split. Now the difference between the break is you don't have to have that second, you don't have to do that layer feature on it as you do in the split. You can click directly on the image and click the break and it automatically breaks everything in it. If you um, click off, you'll see that you've got a dotted line around for the background and then each little layer itself has a dotted gray box line around it. Um, because again, each little piece in here now is its own element. So if I click off and I wanted to move the background off, I can move the background. But notice when I move his foot, you've got pieces here that are, um, they're separate pieces now. Let me make my mat a little bit larger here so that you, maybe this will help you see what I'm talking about a little closer. Um, and also, if you look, we move his belly. All of these little pieces move by themselves. So that's what the difference is between the, the break feature the layer feature and the split feature. Now let me go back up here to this split feature. Let's um, actually let's just delete this and let me put him back on here. And do this again and let me show you what's going on with this. Alright, so we're going to we've got our piece selected and we're going to layer him and we're going to move the background off. Now again, it's, at this point it's layered. Now in this layer, if you'll notice, and let's just make my mat a little bit bigger here, so that you can see what I'm working with. Notice in this layer that there's a little, another little piece, another little element right here inside of this circle here, which is on his arm. Same thing here, you've got this heart piece with these two shapes around the heart piece within a heart piece within this shape. So it's like a shape within a shape within a shape. For some reason when you do this split feature there's a glitch 
that it gets rid of those pieces, but we don't want it to get rid of those pieces. Um, Andy, the maker, make the cut, it knows about this problem and he's trying to work a fix on this with the next version that comes out. But for now, I'm going to show you how you can fix that. Um, again, you basically, um, let's see if we've got him split. We I did the undo key to put him back to the layer feature. So now, we're, what, before we do this, I'm going to go ahead and hit the break feature instead. But I don't want all those little pieces. So what to do? What you're going to do next is click off the image, and you're going to click in this section here. So I'm going to hold my shift key down. You notice how the red heart is, uh, or the heart is actually outlined in red. I'm going to click on it. Click on the. Oops, we moved it a little bit. Click on the pieces behind it that I want in it and the outer circle. Now I'm going to go back up to my join and it joined it and it put those pieces back like I want it to be. Um, and then you can basically do, you can join these pieces here back and, and then you don't, it's almost, they're again separate like this. So actually, let's see if we can do it with it if we joined it all. Uh, if you join it all and you don't do it individually, you see that it puts it all back together as one piece. So you're going to have to actually do these individually. Let me undo back to that point. And you see, once I, if I join a section by itself, clicking on it, hit join. Let's see, with this one, because this, this whole piece here, that didn't quite work. So there's a fix around this also that I love this layers properties box. So if you're looking at this and you're not quite sure if it's not grabbing pieces within itself, you can find you can find that over here in your layers property box. Let's say that I click on this piece here, which is this red, the arm and the leg is all together. And somehow or another, um, I'm going to hold my shift key down and I'm going to try to click in here, but I can't tell whether that's got both of those two pieces in. I can look over here on my layers property box let me move the camera so you can kind of see that. And I can find those pieces. The pieces that I have selected will be light gray on the layers property box. So it looks like with this, it did pick up the circle within the circle. And it's got the, where did it go? The arm leg portion. But there's a piece missing right here for the leg. So we want to click on it. You see, and then if I've clicked on it, again, you should be able to find it over here in the Layers section box. And it, I'm still holding the Shift key down this whole time I'm talking so that it selects all of that. There's the two pieces. And again, uh, there's my layer, um, my arm and leg section. Now, once you do that, you can let go of the Shift key. Sorry about that, the camera slipped. And click on the Join button. This now joins that whole piece together as one section. And it still keeps my inside piece where that split took it apart. Anyway, um, that is my preference on what I do when I work with this because of that. I usually end up doing the break feature more so than the split feature um, just because of the inside little detail pieces. But again, um, this is a matter of preference. You know, what works best for you once you play around with Make the Cut that's what you'll, you know, you just kind of work it and play with it and whatever works best for you is how you're going to um, work with your images. Anyway, that's another um, short take video tutorial and I hope you've learned something from this and uh, come back and check me out again. I should have some more and have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.